Welcome to the Jacksonville Humane Society Foster Program, and thank you. Being a foster parent is a very rewarding opportunity because you get to prepare an animal for adoption into a permanent home. Plus, for every new foster family that joins our program, we add space to take in additional animals to the shelter. Meet your foster staff. Caitlin started working at JHS in 2015 as an animal care attendant. She has been in a few different roles at JHS, including adoption counselor and hospital vet tech. She has been a foster technician for three years and has a true passion for saving kittens. Bottle babies are her favorite because she loves getting to see them develop and grow week to week. Lauren started at JHS in 2017 as a receptionist at the hospital. She started working in the foster office right after Hurricane Irma. Lauren has always wanted to work with animals. She says helping save kittens and get new foster parents involved is extremely rewarding. Mom cats with kittens are her favorite because there is such sweetness about the mama cats. Which animals need foster care? By and large, our biggest need for foster homes is for underage kittens. Kittens make up about 47% of the entire shelter population at JHS and are the most fragile residents we care for. Litters of kittens come in all ages and sizes. Bottle babies are kittens ranging from a few hours old to about four weeks old. These kittens need bottle or syringe fed every few hours from their foster parent. This also includes overnight feedings. These orphan kittens depend on us for food and warmth and cannot stay in the shelter overnight. Therefore, they must find a foster family the same day they enter the shelter. Mush babies are kittens about four and a half to six weeks old who are being weaned from a bottle to eating on their own. Mush is the slurry of kitten milk replacer and canned food that these kittens are fed. It is critical in this stage of foster care that foster parents ensure these little ones are getting enough nutrition either by eating on their own or by supplemental syringe feeding. Kittens eating on their own are about six to eight weeks old and just need a place to grow and be loved until they are adoption ready. A nursing mom or queen with her kittens is one of the easiest types of litters to foster because mama cat will do most of the work for you by feeding and cleaning her babies. Foster parents of these litters provide ample food and affection to mom and monitor to ensure she is giving adequate care to each of the kittens. Once kittens reach eight weeks old and two pounds in weight, your foster coordinator will schedule them for spay or neuter surgery. After surgery, they are ready to bounce into a new adoptive home. Puppies under eight weeks also need foster care similar to kittens. Puppies at JHS are much less common and only make up about 4% of the JHS animal population. Just like kittens, puppies come in all types and sizes. Bottle puppies are fed every few hours around the clock. Mush puppies are being weaned from bottle to bowl. Puppies eating on their own are able to eat dry and wet puppy food. Every now and then we will also have nursing moms with puppies in at JHS who are sent to foster homes. They will be ready for spay or neuter surgery at eight weeks old, then are placed up for adoption. During foster care, puppies and kittens are required to stay completely indoors and separated from owned pets in the home since they are just beginning their vaccine series and are susceptible to many common pathogens in the environment. Puppies and kittens are seen at JHS every two weeks for wellness exams. At these visits, they receive age-appropriate vaccines and preventative care. Appointments can also be made if your foster animal needs to be treated for any medical concerns. We will go into more detail on how to book appointments later. We send out many of our adult animals to foster homes as well. Being in a home, even for a short period, gives them a much needed break from the stress of the shelter. Some of the reasons we send cats or dogs to foster homes are the following. Medical fosters. These cats or dogs aren't quite ready for adoption and are being treated at JHS for various medical concerns. These animals receive treatment in a foster home and return periodically for recheck exams with our veterinarian. Some common medical fosters include those recovering from an injury or recent surgery, 
animals in treatment for skin conditions, including demodex in dogs, sarcoptic mange, or ringworm, as well as other basic illnesses such as upper respiratory infections or eye infections. Behavior fosters are cats or dogs who are otherwise adoption ready, but could benefit from being in a temporary home. For example, animals who are overly stressed. Some cats or dogs become overwhelmed in the shelter and may become depressed or even stop eating. Offering a foster home to these animals can often greatly improve their well-being and offer insight to potential adopters on how they behave in a home. Some animals are overly shy or fearful in the shelter and are more comfortable to come out of their shell in a foster home. Some of the other facets of the JHS foster program include promote a pet. These are typically animals who have been waiting a longer time in the shelter to find their adoptive families. As a promote a pet foster parent, you are asked to advocate for this cat or dog by sharing them amongst friends and families in public places and on social media in hopes of finding them a loving adoptive family. Promote a pet fostering usually lasts about 30 days. Even if an adopter isn't found, you'll get to learn more about their personality, which is great insight to share with a future adopter. Dog Day Out Just as it sounds, this program is an opportunity to take one of our adoptable dogs out just for the day to enjoy some fresh air and affection. Go to the beach, walk in the park, or just pop over to Starbucks for a puppuccino. Dogs are picked up and returned during Adoption Center open hours, which are Monday through Friday, noon to 7 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Silent Night. One of the most beloved JHS traditions is to place all sheltered cats and dogs into foster homes for the holidays. The goal is to have all empty kennels for a silent night at the shelter. This process typically begins the week leading up to Christmas and ends a few days after Christmas. Interested in becoming a Promote a Pet foster parent? Here's how you can get started. To set up a meet and greet session and begin Promote a Pet foster care, please email behavior at jackshumane.org. This part of the JHS Foster Program is primarily run by our behavior staff members, since they get to know our adult dogs and cats best through playgroup and enrichment sessions. In your email, let them know of any other pets in your home and if there are any children under 10 years old living in the home. This will ensure the behavior team member can match you up with an animal that will be a perfect fit for your home. For more details on Promote a Pet, including tips on pet-to-pet -pet introductions, how to find a great adopter for your foster, and much more, manuals are posted at jackshumane.org foster. With the help of foster parents, JHS has been able to give thousands more animals a fighting chance at a happy, healthy life. At JHS, we believe just about anyone can be a successful foster parent. Before you get started, there are a few requirements to keep in mind. Make sure you can provide the time and attention needed to care for the particular type of animal you plan to bring home. If you're fostering young kittens or puppies, ensure you have space in your home to keep them separated from your own pets. Foster parents must have reliable transportation to JHS, must be able to communicate via phone or email, and have regular access to the internet to book appointments for their foster animals. Finally, every successful foster parent must have the dedication and compassion to help animals in need. Upon pickup, JHS will provide many of the supplies and information you will need to care for your new foster animal. This includes a foster animal handout, which contains information about your specific foster animal and a foster parent manual, which contains lots of helpful information about foster care. This manual also includes the emergency care protocol for what to do during and after hours if your foster animal is experiencing a medical emergency. A carrier is provided for cats, kittens, and young puppies. Adult dogs are sent with leash and collar. We aim to provide foster parents with approximately two weeks of food and litter since foster animals are seen for vaccines and preventative care every two weeks. 
JHS does rely on donations for food and non-clumping litter. Therefore, supplies are subject to availability. All medical care is provided by JHS. This includes age-appropriate vaccines, flea prevention, heartworm prevention for dogs, microchip spay or neuter surgery, and all other diagnostics and necessary treatment. For kittens and puppies who need bottle fed, a bottle and or syringes with nipple are provided as well as approximately two weeks supply of the appropriate formula. The JHS foster team is here to teach you any skills you need to know to care for your foster animals, whether it's bottle feeding, giving medication, or any other medical or behavioral training, we are here to help you succeed. In early spring, the foster department holds several training sessions in anticipation for kitten season. But don't worry, if you miss these sessions, we have many online resources and can always answer questions and give lessons upon picking up your new foster animals. We hope you're ready and excited to start fostering. The first step, if you have not already done so, is to complete the foster parent profile on our website. Once you've completed this online form, you may begin fostering. We encourage all of our foster parents to join the JHS Fosters Facebook group page. This is where we post daily about all the animals in need of foster care. Using this social media platform allows for us to quickly reach a vast number of our foster parents and communicate via messenger if you have specific questions regarding your foster animals. Once you see a litter posted that you would like to foster, just comment letting us know your interest and when you're able to pick them up from JHS. We will do our best to promptly respond and confirm your pickup time. Where to pick up new foster animals. The JHS campus is located at 8464 Beach Boulevard. Upon arrival, you will see three different building entrances. Adoptions and Education on the left side, Pet Help Services in the middle, and Veterinary Services on the far right. Foster parents will primarily be entering in through the side door of the Veterinary Services building. Even when Vet Services is closed to the public, the foster staff will still use this location for sending out foster animals and seeing foster appointments. The side door by the dog play yards will be unlocked for foster parents to enter and sign in on the iPad. Underage kittens and puppies are seen every two weeks for vaccines and preventative care. During peak season, which is April to November, we hold walk-in wellness clinic hours for foster parents to get their foster animals up to date on their wellness checkups. No appointment time is required when attending clinic since foster animals are seen on a first come first serve basis. Clinic hours are held on Saturdays from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. and Sundays 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. Due to the high volume of patients seen during these clinic hours, medical concerns will not be addressed. If you have any medical concerns for your foster animals, you can book a medical concern appointment online. This will ensure that staff has enough time to run necessary diagnostics and provide treatment for these medical concerns. We will go over more details on how to book appointments on the next slide. Clinic is held at the JHS Veterinary Services Building. Foster parents are to enter through the side door and sign in on the iPad. For their health and safety, all foster animals are required to stay in their kennel while waiting in the lobby. Since underage puppies and kittens have a limited immune system, they may become ill during foster care and require medical attention. Some common symptoms include eye or nasal discharge, vomiting, loose stool, lack of energy, lack of appetite, hair loss, or limping. Foster parents can visit our easy-to-use booking website, jacksfoster.youcanbook.me, to schedule medical concern appointments. At these appointments, the foster technician can address your concerns, run diagnostics, and provide medical treatment to foster animals. Also, if you're unable to attend walk-in clinic hours the week your foster animal is due, there are options to book wellness appointments online. 
The Express Vaccine and Prevention option is a 15-minute appointment block. Please only use this option if you have one to three foster animals to be seen and no medical concerns to address. The other Vaccines and Prevention option is a 30-minute appointment block. This can be used for litters of four or more, mom with babies, or foster animals currently in treatment for ringworm needing a routine recheck exam. Using the appropriate appointment type will ensure the foster technician will have enough time to examine and provide necessary care for your foster animals. Foster appointments also take place at the JHS Veterinary Services Building. Just like with clinic hours, foster parents should enter through the side door and sign in on the iPad. For their health and safety, all foster animals are required to stay in their carrier while waiting in the lobby. We can't wait to have you join our JHS family of foster parents. If you have any further questions about fostering or need to reach out to us about your current foster animals, there are a few ways to contact the foster office staff. The quickest means of communication is through Facebook Messenger. On the JHS Fosters group page, you will see posts by the user Be Humane. By sending a message to Be Humane, you will directly reach the foster office staff to ask questions or voice concerns about your foster animals. During kitten season, this is the easiest way to reach us while we are seeing appointments, performing intake exams on new animals, and caring for kittens awaiting foster care. Foster office staff can also be reached via email at foster at jackshumane.org or by phone at 904-493-4567. Please note that we do not have staff present in the shelter overnight and JHS foster staff is not available after normal business hours. All messages, including telephone, email, and social media received after the close of business will be returned on the following day. The foster office open hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you again for joining the JHS Foster Program and watching this orientation video. In 2018, JHS sent over 4,000 animals to loving foster homes. With your help, we can save the lives of thousands more.